Uh, good, good, solid uh, win on the road. This is good in the division on the road. We got it done. Um, that we start with a pick, and then Russell comes back and has a good football game. Well, I think the game was m kind of marred by the drops and the way this uncharacteristic drops for us. I think we must, might have missed four or five balls a day. And uh, other than that, uh, I think we would have had a really solid you know, game with continuity and, and all that. Um, there's no really excuse other than you know the wind was blowing a little bit early in the game, but we should we should have done much better there. Uh, good, solid game for the defense. Um, and in and, uh, and the kicking game was real solid. We did what we needed to do. Unfortunately, we missed a field goal early, but uh, the rest of it was, was solid. And, and uh, getting rid of some of those penalty numbers was really helpful for us. Um, just a lot of guys played really solid. What I, what I was really excited about is we were banged up going into this game. Uh, Dwayne Brown you know, couldn't practice all week. Joke was just coming back first time. Uh, Bobby Widener couldn't practice all week. And these guys just stuck it out and, and did a really good job to come through and play football and, you know, like we needed them to and gave us a chance to win this football game. And those guys all seem to come out OK, too. So we, uh, we can take a step forward, hopefully. Um, so go. You can't see Bobby's interception that we played. Yeah, yeah, I saw it on the big board. You know, it's all I could see. Um, it, it was an extraordinary play. I don't know how the heck it happened, really. But uh, really great heads up play and all that. And almost scored on it, too. Yeah, that's fantastic. He, he's an incredible player. Uh, he, he did not practice this week. He did. He was able to only work out with the trainers a uh, little bit, and and uh, to come through and have another big game, significant game with you know play of the game for the defense. Um, it's just the way he's been doing it. He's a great football player, uh, and has demonstrated extraordinary consistency. And uh, here again with another hundred tackle season, it's amazing. I understand Jimmy had uh, some numbers today too uh, that separates him as our most productive tight end in terms of touchdowns um, for a career and also for a season. And uh, you know he's got a lot of games left, so he's doing a great job for us. With the second half, what changed for Russell? Danny, yeah. yeah. Sorry, I don't think changed in the second half for Russell? Um, we, we were able to, you know, the, the, we, we didn't drop the football like we did in the first half. I think it was really, I think Russell was going to have a terrific game. The first play got away from him. Um, yeah, but I, I really think it's that, Danny. I don't think it's much more than that. He had a great second half. His numbers were on it. I think he would have done that in the first half if we just hung on the football. <laughs> how sad do you play was that by Wagner? Yeah, I don't even know how he did it. You know, I don't. Yeah, I don't. It's an extraordinary play. You just don't see stuff like that happen. Um, but he's a remarkable athlete, timing, hand-eye, all that kind of stuff. He's a remarkable athlete. So he figured out a way to do it, um, like a few guys would do. I think. A lot of different guys involved in the pass rush. Yeah, we had a bunch of guys active today, which was one thing. So we got a big rotation, and the guys did well, and, and uh, it was great to get the play time. Mike came through with a big, you know, big game again. Um, Brandon had a nice, nice game rushing. Uh, Marcus Smith, beautiful to see those guys contributing like that, and and that's uh, that's how we would like to do it. You know, we mix those guys up, keep them fresh and keep them fast. What has Paul Richardson showed you this year? Um, he's had a he's had a terrific season for us. Uh, you know, today was not his day. You know, for you know, he could have had a huge day today, but uh, just for whatever reason, he, he was trying to sure catch the ball a little bit because of the weather and uncharacteristically didn't use his hands like he would normally and, and just over maybe overcompensated. But he's had a terrific football season. Uh, explosive plays, dynamic plays, come through down the field stuff, uh, you know, spectacular stuff. And, and uh, unfortunately, today just wasn't his best. Jimmy Graham gets in the red zone. Are you seeing teams? sort of take away things that you guys have shown success going to him in the in the red zone in the past and is that opening up new opportunities um they're they're you know they're trying their stuff Danny. it just depends you know uh we're, we're, we're so much better now utilizing him as part of the offense you know taking what they're giving us you know and and uh he's doing a great job coming through but he and it's really the chemistry between him and russ is is has reached the level that makes them really on top of their game. So um, we'll keep going, you know, and we, we have to react to the things that they're giving us, and, and uh, they'll, be, they'll be more creative. His numbers are up there pretty good. They're going to you know, do some more stuff for him, I would think. Yeah, I thought, the, I thought the run defense was excellent. I thought all day long it was really good and, and really solid and uh, the kind of consistency that we hope to get. And this is, uh, we, we like this, this team. They, these guys know how to run the football. They know how to move it around. They got a good offensive scheme. 
that challenges us, and, and uh, we had to work our way through it, and I thought the guys did a good job. And I, I go back to the guys that aren't able to practice, too. You know, it's a huge deal for Bobby not to get those looks all week long, but he just couldn't do it, and, and uh, the guys came through anyway. What do you make of the season that Bobby's having? I, I think it's as as good as a defensive player can have. You know, I think he's on top of everything. He, he's he's great in the running game. He's great in the pass game. He's a fantastic rusher. Um, he's as good as you can hope for. You know, I think he's having a great season. Nick Manette, the, the kind of coming through the way he did today, just somehow to obviously step in one. Got hurt and all that. Yeah, he, he took over for Luke. He did a nice job. Great touchdown catch for him in his first one ever, which was great. Um, Luke got hanging on the ball too. You know, he, a couple of balls got away from him. I'll oh, check that. And Nick, you know, the ball got away from him a couple times a day. But he's doing a really good job. We can use him in all situations. He's got terrific versatility for us, and I'm thrilled that he's, he's able to contribute and help us out. The play that Doug made on, on the third and nine uh, that kind of jump started that. Did you feel like? Yeah, I really I thought that was a play that really kind of turned things. You know, we were. That, that sequence didn't turn out great, and, and, uh, and Russell was moving around again and found him, and, and those two guys hooked up with a beautiful play. That really, that really was the spark in, in this game. So uh, Doug didn't get the ball a lot today, but um, he made a key, key play that really kind of turned the momentum around for us. Yeah, I, I was thrilled about that that decision that he made right there because it's some, it, there is an opportunity to make the decision how to make that that attempt, uh, which puts you in puts you in position to get a, a, the penalty, and he did exactly the way you're supposed to do it, and they made the right call, and and uh, it was, that's a huge play, but it's a very savvy play to do that, and you know he he could feel he wasn't going to get a chance at the ball, but he wanted to put himself in position to try, and that's where the guy interfered. Sean Richardson. Yeah, yeah, he was just mad he didn't get credit for a sack. Eddie Lacy, what did you think of his day? Sort of no, he ran, ran hard, ran tough. I liked it. Yeah, I, that, that's the first time we've had a chance to feel Eddie um, and, and, and throughout a game. And you can see he's got, he's got a presence about him because he is such a load. And, and, and that's, you know, just give us a dimension that we can play off of and, and we'll go for it. And that, I thought he, he showed that today. And I think the, you saw the, uh, the contrast in him and in JD also. JD's just such a uh, lightning rod out there uh, for stuff. He's just so quick and explosive that it's a nice mix. And so um, I, that felt like you know, we got something going here. So um, it's, it's time. <laughs> We've been waiting. And uh, hopefully we can build on that. We'll get Mike Davis back next week, next week too, which will be fun to see. Thirty-five yards and penalties. That's way better than we've been. Yeah, I, I was probably over the top more than I should be for because it's still six penalties. <laughs> uh, for us, that's that's way better. And uh, the big, the significant penalties didn't show up. You know, it was all line of scrimmage stuff, which we really we can do a lot better at. Um, he, he'll be in the in the protocol. Um, yeah, uh, because he did get hit in the head, but he was. Um, he was lucid and he was, he was in good shape. So it, there's a, a real chance that he could make it through. We'll see. But we've got to take care of him first and foremost. And uh, the uh, trainers did a great job with him today. Josh, Josh Morris, what happened to him? Uh, he sprained his foot. And uh, fairly significantly, it's going to be a problem, I think. Anything else? Mr. Bird, you you good? You let, it, let it be as it is. Bert? Anything else? You know, slash shot. See you. Yeah.